Hey guys, and welcome to PrimandPrep.com. Today we're going to be reviewing the Mercure 39C, aka the Slant Sledgehammer. And it's called that because of the slant head. Uh, you can see it kind of goes from upper left to bottom bottom right on both sides. Um, and its younger brother is the 37C. I've done a review on that in the past. And just how uh, like the 34C and the 38C or kind of little brother, big brother, that's what I call them, um, in the Mercure family, the 37 and the 39C are kind of little brother, brother, big brother. Um, so let's talk about the, the, the weight and the balance of this guy. So the weight, it comes in at four ounces, so this thing is heavy duty. I mean, you don't need to put any pressure on this guy while shaving, and um, you'll cut through hairs. Easy peasy. The balance is the handle's pretty darn heavy, so I like the balance point to be right at the top of the grip, but it's just like maybe a quarter of an inch down, uh, or maybe a third of an inch down from the top of the grip, uh, which is fine. I felt fine while man maneuvering it, and the balance felt fine for me, especially with the weight. Uh, you don't really have to do any pulling, so the balance doesn't apply as much as with such a heavy safety razor such as this one. Um, the grip, it does have a barber pull grip, just like the 38C. And I was actually comparing them side by side. It looks like the exact same body. They're both two-piece safety razors. Um, the knob at the bottom is exactly the same. They have the Mercure stamp right here above the barber pull grip. And right here looks the same. The only place it differs is the bottom plate and the top plate, which this one has the slanted head and that one just has the normal, the normal head. Um, but yeah, overall, the grip, the spiral, uh, they have spirals that are going, uh, counterclockwise from the top to the bottom of the handle, and as I was talking about, if you watched my 38C review, that it can be a little bit slippery for your thumb if you're right-handed, because you're going parallel with the grip, but if you're left-handed, you have a little bit more better grip with your thumb as you're going perpendicular to these grooves, and it feels a little bit grippier, but I'm, I'm right-handed, and most people are probably right-handed as well. Um, but overall, not a bad grip, you know? And I really like the bottom the bottom uh, knob, because you could tell not only where the end of the razor is, but this thing bulges out a lot, so there's no way it's going to slip out of your hands. Even if you slip down here, you'll catch it. Um, can't imagine it completely slipping out of your hands. But... Um, yeah, overall, I mean, I get amazing shaves with this guy. Uh, the aggressiveness, um, a lot of people call it very aggressive online, but I think they're just not used to using a slant head. Um, if anything, I'd call it more efficient because, you know, as I talked about in my other slant head review, uh, if you try to cut a vegetable with a knife straight down, it's not as easy as cutting through it as if, as if you're slicing like that, pulling back on it with a knife. And that's what you get when you're using a slant slant head. Um, blade replacement, you know, just as easy as any two-piece safety razor. Just screw the bottom. That'll pop off. I have a blade right here. Feather blade. Slide it on. You know, obviously not as easy as a butterfly open safety razor, but easier than a three-piece. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah. The blade gap is relatively small um, as to make it a little bit less aggressive, but as you're pulling down, it's just at that slight angle, so it's going to cut through here a lot easier. If you're in a rush, uh, you got to go to work and you can only make one or two passes, especially if you can only make one pass, a slant head is the... Uh, Safety razor is what I'd go for, because you'll get closer a closer shave with just one pass than you would with a normal a normal headpiece. So the biggest the biggest concern is it does take a little bit of practice uh, getting your technique down. It it is easier to cut yourself, uh, especially if you're not used to the um, the right angle using a slant head, and that's fine. But once you get used to it, um, you know. There's very few safety razors out there that do a better job of cutting the hair, getting as close as you want, especially with as little passes as it 
does take with these, either the 37C or the 39C. The 39C is even better because it's so much heavier. It's got that barber pole, thick handle, tons of weight. Uh, if you're using a sharp blade in this, like you don't even, you could just let go of the razor. I'm obviously kidding, but the weight will do all the work for you. Um, it's highly efficient is what I call it. But if I had to give it aggressiveness rating, I'd probably give it like a, a six or a seven because, you know, it does feel like it's more aggressive. Um, even though I don't think that's the right word for it. Um, yeah. So that's my review on the 39C, guys. If you guys haven't tried out a slant head, I would suggest that you go out and buy one right now because it's a completely different shave. Uh, obviously, I love all safety razors, and I, I use my classic heads as well. But if I'm in a pinch, this is my go-to guy. He is heavy. He will slice through the hair, get a close shave, just in one pass, a decently close shave. Um, try it out. Uh, if you guys have any other questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you want more male grooming tips or check out some more safety razor reviews or other male grooming products, go to primandprep.com. Um, have a good one, guys. Bye.